Yeah, you boy Zo here, and today I have the extreme pleasure, guys, to welcome you back on my channel. And to do so, we're gonna spend some time with the Vertigo Sound VSM4, brand new plugin from Vertigo Sound, and uh, as usual, we're gonna make a plugin tour and see what's going on with this baby on uh, the Master Brush and uh, also some uh, different materials. So first of all, when you're gonna click on the Vertigo Sound logo, you're gonna have all your options here, the zooming option, of course, and the oversampling, as well as GP rendering and circular slider control. Oversampling for X for me is the best balance between quality and CPU hit uh, zoom option here. You can drag like this, or just enter a value, which I'm gonna do right now. So yeah, it's welcome because uh, on the previous model you have some ratios. Now it can be like randomly chosen. Set as default, which I'm gonna do right now. And done. Okay, developer here, Impulse Audio Labs. The same guys behind <coughs> the previous plugin also. So basically, here, input sections, you have the input gain, which is crucial on this type of uh, plugins. You can engage or disengage the bypass the, the plugin here. Okay, same here, or oh, same here, new sequencer, right? You have the transformer section, which is new. Okay, you can drive it here. You have a LED indicating the amount of drive. And of course, you can bypass or I'll switch on the section alone, which is the case for the other sections here. Here, a great goodie is the best lift, and basically it can compensate sometime when for the, ba the base lost. Um, when you're gonna drive the transformers, we're gonna check this out together, right? The triad saturation side and the pentod saturation, they share the same uh, type of uh, controls, okay, except here. But basically, you can drive the thing here. You can also choose the filter here. We're gonna go deep with these things. You have a new mode here, which is excellent. You have the THD mix, the shaping here, which is basically a low pass filter, and the level uh, of the whole uh, sections. Okay, here, the same thing. Here you can control the bias for the triad, and here you can control the density or the clearness of this thing. You're gonna see the impact. The monitoring section, which is really powerful, I'm gonna make you hear it in action, but basically you can monitor the mids and the side on in solo, or also the distortion path here, okay? So I can choose to monitor the triad saturation alone, the pentod saturation alone, or both, okay? Uh, also the output section which is uh, regular but you have also another goodie here which is the mid side balance here okay and of course you output uh, metering here which is uh, very handy to control the levels and to control if you're clipping or not right so nothing um, nothing nothing extraordinary here just a uh, Something easy to understand, but really, really, really powerful. And this is what we're gonna sit together right now. So.
I'm gonna increase the music here. I'm gonna bypass this bad boy. Okay, I'm gonna insert a new instance here. <clears throat> And we're gonna try to understand what's going on here. First of all, we're gonna try the transformer sections. I'm gonna make you here. I'm gonna drive it uh, really hard just for you to appreciate the frequency impacted uh, by the, the, the transformer and uh, how it reacts, it reacts. Okay, there we go. Already too much here. Okay. We don't lose them, and second, we preserve it preserve the death. Okay, there's a volume difference. Oh, so much. Yeah, I like it. I really like it. Checking the, the low end material, right? The 
precision on the low end. to have the transformer in input stage here okay sometimes it's in input stage sometimes on the output stage but I always prefer it on the input stage because of this action is doing right now if I master the dynamic when I, uh, when I enter or at least control stuff like transients resonance and all that in a good way which is what I hear right now okay it's excellent because if I'm gonna chip down frequency wise and come, I'm gonna drive some bands of frequencies, I better have them stabilized than uh, going uh, randomly uh, because it can create some big resonance, okay? So having the transformer stage on the input section here is just making me smile right now. Okay. Try out saturation right now. I engage it. Listen closely to the low end. Okay. It's cleaning, cleaning it right now. So we lose some low end here. So you have two options. Listen. Now. Okay. Two options. Okay. You can now play with the. on solo to hear only the triad saturation here listen you don't hear nothing because it's in track mode if i put it on for example full you hear the frequencies impacted by the saturation triad here okay now i think you get it so you hearing the bandwidth which is gonna be in fact impacted by the drive here and so the saturation generation Okay. You can either choose a, a preset bandwidth here or go in input filter here and basically you can choose here the bandwidth randomly which is excellent and not enough <laughs> yeah so you can go for example like that and then use the shape section to fine tune listen Okay, basically this is a low pass. So it's a second layer of control over the frequency here, which is excellent. So I'm gonna put myself here. Yeah, you know it. So it's gonna impact the, this whole bandwidth. But listen. I'm just gonna focus on this area of the signal. Now I'm gonna drive it. Like that. Okay. Now. Oh yeah. Without. <laughs> I 
I know it's too much, guy. I'm gonna get stage. Okay. Now, listen. The drive is done. The frequency is chosen. Now we're gonna play with the mix, okay? I'm gonna find the right balance between the, the what the, the drive saturation uh, uh, band which I created here and the regular signal. more precise than this. Here I'm too much on the highs, but I want to excite also the snare. So I'm, you see the difference here? Handy, handy, right? Okay, it's gonna be too much, but we're gonna play the level then. Okay, both. This is what I created, the curve of saturation I created here. Okay, you see that? Okay, I'm going filter here. If I put myself on highs, maybe. Yeah, not too bad like that. Other options will be go back here and do this. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the high here. of your mix, which is not a mix right now, just a fast track, I was, uh, I was tasting like uh, these bad boys and all that, I started to make a beat, I said okay, let's try this plugin on it. Okay, maybe it's a bit too heavy here on the mids. Already like that, 
you know MS processing, you can already make, um, you can already uh, process and uh, impact the dynamic and the frequency response already. Okay. Okay. Now listen closely. Here with the clear dance things. Okay, you see how it um, it smashes more uh, the snare. Listen to the snare, the tom. Okay, you see how we bring back the transients. So it can be super handy here if you uh, if you want to give density to something or to control the the, the transient uh, of a material which is uh, basically aggressive in that area. Okay, we go back. We uh... okay. So this is the first option like that regular use stereo use like that. thing here we can go and use it in MS mode I'm gonna put myself in MS mode it's gonna be the mid here and the side here all right and you got the monitoring section here engage each side here okay we monitoring the mid here and the side here So same here, I'm gonna drive it a little here. Look at the frequencies here. Okay, I like the high mids here. Let's try. Okay, I like it like here. Okay, now listen closely. Listen to the down, down. Yeah. Okay, if I'm okay, I want to calm down the transient information of the bass, that's it. It sticks more to the beat right now. Two 
different uh, two different presentation of your uh, placement of the sound uh, are possible with this clear dance things okay again I'm pushing it too far guys but I want you to understand this bad boy I go back to the clear okay about second scenario guys okay so master bus here you see how it's capable of uh, a lot of stuff thanks to first the 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 options you get over the the saturation and harmonic generation here between those three stages but also the control over the dynamic and the frequency balance here add to this uh, the ms uh, and the monitoring uh, options and you get something like a fucking cla uh, swiss army knife i'm telling you guys so let's see let's see i'm gonna bypass this one on the master and we're gonna play with it on the on this this thing let me just bring back the volume okay i replace here okay listen closing Okay, so I have inconsistency on the notes and uh, you have some low material on this sound and the attack and sometimes you, you have too much low, sometimes you have too much attack and it's not consistent, right? Perfect job for the transformer. Now. Excellent. Bring back some lows. Okay, I like it like that. We out. Now. Okay. You, if you don't feel it, <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a reference. This. Okay, originally. Okay, you get this boom, wow, wow, this modulation right between uh, the lows and the highs and all that, which we want, but we want a control also. Listen. Now. Oh boy. See how we we 
stabilize the information. Okay, the sun is on the same place, right? But it's not. He's not. He's not displayed the same way. Okay, the the sound is composed by a low part and a high part, which are not um, moving together. The same choreography, right? And basically, what I'm trying to do right now is to um, to make them dance the same dance, basically. Yeah, in the rhythm. Now, typically, this kind of stuff you will do it with uh, dynamic EQs, multi band compressor, and all that. But here, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Okay, another layer of control on this bad boy will be uh, using here the pentad, which is uh, I love. Put myself on the side here, on mid, or what? For example, here I'm gonna show you how to inject back some transient material here. So, for example, here you do that. We on the mid here. Okay. If I want to calm down the transient in the mid, look at that. So the impact of the transient is more located on the side. Okay, we out. Now. I can do the opposite. I can inject back. Listen. I was fooling myself <laughs> because it was on track. Listen. Okay, this is this is what I wanted to do, guys. Listen. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, right there. We're out. Pretty subtle. Right? Now listen if I go back to clear in the center, right? Thanks to the clear and the, the way I'm driving it. Yeah. Attack in the center. Okay. And then you can uh, bring back the level here to play to play with the balance. Without. Okay. Basically, right now we have the attack on the side, but not controlled. Now we have the attack on the side more controlled and some attack back on the center, right? Which is give this this more uh, linear from left to right attack. Okay. Previously we had the attack uh, was curve on the center attack wise and then attack here. Now we're more like that linear without. It. Okay, but still controlled. I like it like that, guys. You out. Okay, I can disengage this. Keep it simple like that. <clears throat> it was just to make you uh, understand here the clear and dense thing. Okay, we have this.
okay here okay it's really round i love it okay still this bad boy guys this is my this is my first patch <laughs> this is my first preset if you want to take it okay just screenshot it <laughs> it's great it's smooth i like it smooth like that we can drive it a little listen to the harmonics now you're out leave it okay same here i'm gonna play with this uh, the triad now side okay i'm gonna use this thing you hear the, the noise of the chorus Okay, listen, the fundamentals is more in this area, so I'm going back here, okay? But I'm gonna work on upper, upper harmonics. Oh yeah. Low bias, high bias, okay, works well on this thing. I'm gonna check the levels here, it just, okay, you see how it's uh, cloudy and boomy? Tell. Okay, let's let's listen. tell you guys that for, for using transformers guys on your individual sound will make you actually if you have a good quality okay it's really important because if not it's going to be the exact opposite but transformers usually give a contour and uh, a precision uh, over the, the information of the sound uh, which is excellent and make you mix faster this is the way i feel it right um but if you have a plugin that is not great and you're gonna put it on the old session, it's gonna be the opposite. It's gonna be like cloudy and mushy and not precise and all that. So yeah, this one, the precision of this one, the quality, guys, yeah, you, you can put it. Okay. We're gonna play now with my drums. Snap. Full spectrum, left, right. Basically, the beat is mainly uh, centered, right? It's just gonna be like a question of levels. Transformer engage, listen. Without. Look. Okay, so basically, with very few um, tweaking, the contour, the, the feeling, why the levels are this, exactly the same, the feeling is not the same. Contour. 
tour. Okay, mid information maybe here. Okay, clear, dance, listen now. Okay, see that? Okay. Yeah, the transient information here is excellent without. Maybe I'm gonna use this to bring back some lows. Yeah. I'm gonna come down this one. Oh, I like it like that. Gain density, guys. But still, the information and the placement is uh, respected, and it's pretty, it's pretty mono, right? So here we go. of the stuff frequency wise and uh, the stomp here okay listen I'm gonna clean it already either here the boom is in center okay listen because I'm only impacting here the side, right? Now listen. Here the boom. boom. Now. Now. You see how it's more boomy like that? But like that. Or like that. Okay. So I'm gonna keep it like that here. I'm gonna emphase emphasis the, the stomp here. Okay. Then I'm gonna give it some here. Hint. Listen. It's way too much, guys. Let's listen. Like it like that. Listen now and after the tail of the reverb and the harshness of the reverb. Yeah. 
Okay. Density. Okay, I'm going to use density right now to give this uh, control over the side. Okay, we've out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is why uh, you can use it for anything. There we go. It's kind of too much, right? The reverb. It's kind of too much, right? Listen if I go to clear now. Hold on. Now. You see how the reverb is more present, right? For me, it's like a fast attack, fast release uh, type of compression here. And here a more medium sitting, slower sitting here. Okay, I'm gonna do it like that. Even more. Like that. It's more control like that. Forget that you have the control here if I want to widen them more, even more. Foot stomp is gone in the in the mid in the center. More on the left, right, on the side basically. Listen. I bring back the foot stomp. one. I don't like it. I don't like it like that. It's kind of too much, right? Okay. Like it like that. Here we go. Another AB here. Hey. <laughs> Okay, listen first to the low end material. Now. Okay, the foot stomp is, is clear and stable. Same for the kick. Okay, listen to the to -dum, to -dum. Also, everything is clearly displayed without yeah it 
it's no, no definition, no control. Also the the dance. Listen. Okay. Okay. Now we put back the bass. I swear, I swear, I feel like um, uh, a problematic on the the time. You know, it's like it's like um, converters which are not synced. You see, this is what I feel. I swear. Kick. Listen, the, the kick, the kick, the foot stomp, and all that are not doing things. The, the bass is going erratic and all that. So I really f feel like a crowd moving. Um, in all directions. No. It's kind of mid heavy. Um, it's kind of mid heavy, but I know, I know, I, I'm using the beer dynamic right now. So I know the problems I'm gonna encounter with this bad boy. So now, time for the conclusion, guys. And uh, we're gonna start with the pros as usual. So, first of all, I would say, uh, first pro, uh, the familiarity with the VSM tree uh, concept. So even if it's not the, exactly the same component and the same uh, sound, it really share the same philosophy. And uh, as it come uh, to the operation, uh, it's really sharing a lot in common. So basically, if you're familiar with the VSM3, you will feel at home with the VSM4 and vice versa. So it's a great thing, I think. The second thing is that um, I will say the CPU hit quality ratio. Uh, yep, uh, the CPU hit right now at 4x uh, uh, over sampling, it's like 12% uh, on my quad core 8 thread 3.2 gigahertz CPU right now. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's excellent giving the quality of this plugin and uh, again, it's a plugin that you can put on all your sessions without fearing uh, too cloudy and to uh, to uh, basically kill the quality of your uh, sounds basically so yeah it's much appreciated a lot of time right now uh, some developers bring on the table some crazy crazy good component but it's just not possible to use it in the real scenario mixing scenario guys some stuff like crazy cpu hits i mean yeah it's a it's a it's a great um, it's a great news i was afraid about that the sound, so the third uh, pro will be the sound, girls. Yeah, it sounds excellent for me, basically. Okay, it's all subjective, but the quality is here. Okay, you may not like it or not, but the quality is here. The quality of the transformers, the quality of the triad and uh, pentode saturation. Uh, each time, I don't feel like um, something too vulgarous. Okay, you just have to master it and to learn how to use it to learn how to use it and to learn on what to use it and not to use it. That's as simple as that, okay? Uh, fourth, I will say the transformer addition here, okay? As, as you saw in my video, basically the ability to have it in the input uh, stage here will make you uh, uh, basically do a lot of work prior to hit those guys or you can just use the transformers alone without those guys so good it's, it is okay gain stage is crucial as usual and uh, the the low shift you see here uh, also can be a, a great uh, addition to um, compensate for the drive here sometime fifth i would say the developer slash quality of framework slash who you fucking with <laughs> okay basically yeah it's it's it's, it's um 
it's worth mentioning that uh, plugins are stable, well designed, no problem with the resize, uh, no, no crash, no problem with the recalls and all that. Usually they work from day one. And if not, if there's something, whatever, it's a bug or a, a request, they're super fast to implement it, okay? So yeah, this is a pro for me, okay? Really important for me. Uh, six, I will say the capacity to handle any type of scenarios, okay? So you can reach any sonic palette with these things, so it's deep, thanks to the three stage of saturation and thanks to the filters and all, all the options and all that. So yeah, it's, it's just crazy. So the capacity to handle any type of scenarios is a great thing because once you master a tool uh, and you're comfortable with it, uh, yeah, no matter what scenarios you're gonna face, you will be, you will be uh, pleased to use it. Seven, I will say the new frequency mode here, which is first excellent, and then uh, smartly implemented. Just click on it and then, okay. If I do this, I don't lose this, okay? Same, if I lose this, I don't lose this. So basically, yeah, it's it's really great, especially as you do, we done on the video to make an Abbey, okay? To make an Abbey of the two options. So yeah, the, the new frequency mode is uh, superb, as well as I will add here the mid-side balance. Okay, excellent. As for the cones, I don't see cones, uh, to be to be uh, honest, but I, I'm always trying to find one. So I will say maybe <laughs> we're gonna laugh about that. I know on the forum, but yeah, maybe first cons. It's gonna be like for for a lot of people uh, the offer for the loyal customers. <laughs> okay, if you own the previous Vertigo Sound plugins, basically the price is gonna be the same as uh, the intro price. It's 149 euros right now. The only difference between being that uh, it's gonna be like 149 euros for I think a month or a little more for all the users, and then the price will jump for all the users except the ones that have previous purchase from Vertigo Sound. So basically, it's gonna be like 149 always for the loyal customers. Some say it's not enough, some say it's not enough. There's no right or right, wrong or answer. It's just a feeling about that. So yeah, it can be uh, seen as a count. So I put it on the count. And maybe the second count, I will say the color. Okay, it's pretty great right now, but uh, it was really sunny this afternoon and um, it wasn't like super, super easy on the eyes, uh, on the heavy light, uh, on uh, atmosphere environment i will say lighting so yeah the color okay uh, just to final counts it's it's 99 uh, subjective but, but yeah i put it here so more seriously guys don't trust me as usual trust your ears and your feeling try this damn thing guys okay it's really a great great release guys it's really a super release and uh, basically, uh, yeah, try it on different materials, on your own materials. And uh, give me a feedback. I really love to read you guys on my comments and all that. And also, I always um, have some new uh, ways of uh, thinking, of plugging and approaches and all that. So it's always welcome. So feel free to comment, to like and sub if you want. And... Uh, Stay safe, guys. Mentally unhealthy. Spend some quality time with the family and the, your loved ones. And take care of you guys. Uh, catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Your boy Zo here. Bye-bye.